One of you guys asked me if I could talk a little bit about the knot technique. And when I read that comment, my heart just was so happy because that was the technique that got me started into conscious manifestation. It was the first thing that I read about Neville Goddard. And I had had experiences of my own. I had the idea somehow things conform to what I want. Okay. Somehow I can change what is going on, but I never saw anyone talking about it. I had never read anything about it. So that was a confirmation and putting that to practice, seeing the results, it blew my mind. You can manifest anything with this technique, especially if you have resistance, fears, and doubts. And that's what we are talking about today. But before I get into it, hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Al. Welcome to my channel. If you're in need of coaching, go to the description box. The information need is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. The knot technique actually derives from an exercise, what people call the ladder technique. It is an experiment to prove that you can create your own reality. And Neville first presented this exercise at a workshop in 1948. And he wanted to challenge people to use their imagination and to see the results because only when you do that, only when you experiment with that and you see the results, you will believe that you can create your own reality to the point of no doubt. Sometimes I tell you guys, do not believe me, put the law to the test. And I say that because only by doing that, only by experimenting, by not achieving anything and learning from it and then doing it better next time, okay? Only by doing so, you will gain a deep understanding of who you are and your relationship with reality. You are going to then realize that you're not separated from it, that you are intimately connected to it and to the outcomes that you experience. If you are coming into this thinking, I only care about my desire. I don't care about the law. I don't need a deeper understanding about myself or how I create reality. Um, it's not like it's impossible for you to manifest what you want. You can, of course, but the odds are against you. The chances of you actually achieving your goal are slim because you're not bringing the right mindset that allows you to overcome the middle, okay? The mindset that says, I create my own reality. I am connected with the things that are affecting me and I am the solution to all of these things. Instead, you are bringing the mindset, I want this, I need that. Whether it's love, whether it's money or health or a job, it doesn't really matter. Thinking that way is actually going to make it easier for you to fall into the trap of putting something on a pedestal of you lowering your value. And you are doing this because you do not understand that connection between you and the person that you are manifesting, your relationship with money or the ideas that you have about getting the job that you want or achieving the things that you want in life. If you did, your focus would be a different one. It would not be the object or the person. It would be you. But back to the ladder exercise, what Neville said was, place notes around the house that say, I will not climb a ladder. You can place it on the mirror, on the doors, walls, fridge, wherever you want, okay? And for three consecutive nights, you are going to imagine yourself doing exactly that, climbing up and down a ladder. And you are going to do that with the most details that you can. So you are going to imagine yourself holding the ladder, touching it. You are going to feel your steps. If it's a metal ladder, you're going to feel the coldness. If it's a wooden ladder, you're going to feel the texture, okay? Bring as many details as you can to it. So after three days, they should stop visualizing and they should just go about their days. And the majority of his students actually climbed the ladder unexpectedly. And most of them within days or weeks. Side note, this proves to you that you do not have to affirm or visualize or do anything for months or weeks, okay? You can imprint your subconscious mind with the idea that you want 
and it can take three days. It can actually take one second, one minute. All you need is as many detail as you can to feel that experience true, to feel like you are there, you are experiencing it. It is your reality. So my experience with the ladder exercise happened actually many years ago, and it was crazy. I had to tell my specific person that I was doing it because I had post-its around the house saying, I will not climb a ladder, right? And I asked him, do you want to join me? Do you want to do this experiment with me? And he for certain thought that I was nuts, that I was crazy, but he was like, okay. So in the afternoon, I placed the post-its around the house and in the evening, we visualized to the best of our ability, climbing up and down the ladder until we fell asleep. So the next day I wake up, get up, open the curtains. And the first thing that I said was, you will not believe this. You have to come here and say, imagine the scene. The condo that I lived in was built in like a square shape. In the middle, there was a lawn and playgrounds, you know, there were ways, but it was not built for cars. So when I opened the curtains, what I saw was four vents. Each one had two ladders, huge ladders on the back. And I was like, what is this? Okay. So my specific person comes out of the bed, take a look at that. And he says, what kind of sorcery is this? Of course, the exercise is to climb the ladder, not to see ladders, but we found that quite interesting. And I remember him saying, this is too crazy to be a coincidence. This should not have happened. It should, this vent should not be there. And it, it was like that. Okay. It took us about a week or two to actually climb the ladder. He had to climb the ladder to see something on someone's garage. Okay. And I was there holding the ladder and then he said, oh, can you bring something up? And then I did. And when I was there, I thought, oh my God, we just climbed the ladder. And the, we said we would not climb the ladder. It was quite a funny experiment. So the first thing here is the use of imagination. Imagination will always trump anything else. So if I told you, imagine that you are not climbing a tree, imagine that you are not getting married to USP. Probably the first thing that we, you will do is imagine yourself climbing a tree or getting married to your specific person. Why? Because how are you going to imagine you're not doing this? Okay. So I think this is a big part of what is happening here. When you affirm the negative, you use automatically your imagination and you'll see yourself doing that, which you're saying that you are not going to do. The second thing that happens is you release resistance. I always thought there is power in acceptance because change can come from acceptance, accepting that you are not changing the moment right now. It was created some time ago. It is what it is. And the more you release it, the less you get bothered by it, the faster it can move on because you are not holding on to it with your fight with your resistance, you are allowing it to pass. If you get to that understanding, I will achieve what I want anyway, and nothing can stop me. You will achieve what you want, regardless of your circumstances, regardless of the moment right now. And the third thing is, of course, your beliefs, they matter. If you believe that affirming in the negative will work, then it will. If you believe that it doesn't work, it won't. It's quite simple. You can use the knot technique to manifest anything and you can use it in a way that feels comfortable to you. For me, I only use it when I notice resistance and doubts and fears. And when I notice that they are so strong that I cannot really relax while affirming or visualizing. I prefer the positive affirmations and most times this is what I use because it's easy for me to feel myself into that reality. But if I am not feeling it, then I will use the knot technique. Doesn't mean that this is the only way to use it, okay? This is just me. So experiment with it. 
see what works for you. But I'm going to give you a tip because it works for me whenever I am affirming something in the negative. So maybe you are affirming, I'm not married to X, Y, Z. I am not a millionaire. I am not working at this place. While affirming that, make sure that in your mind, you are seeing a snapshot of that happening. So you are in a situation that implies that you are married to that person. You are in a situation that implies that you are living the kind of life that you want to live or that you are working at the place that you want to work. In the end, there are very few rules to main fasting. Most of it is what you believe. It's your feeling state. It's what you assume that you can achieve. And thankfully, this is not set in stone. This is something that you can work towards. You can work towards believing in yourself, believing that you can achieve things. But if you don't, there are tricks that you can use to achieve that anyway. And the not technique is one of these things, okay? So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. We will talk soon. Bye-bye.